Came up here to watch the sunrise. 10,000 feet up. Here's a view. It's about 48 degrees up here. I just realized it's Hawaii off in the distance. Focus. There's this. Mauna Kea. Mauna Loa. I think we're getting close. You can see the shadow of the earth behind me. You guys see it lighting up the clouds on the horizon there? It's warming up already. Good morning. Behind us is the shadow of the mountain, stretching off. One more shot of the sunrise, lighting up the clouds. Of course, I could probably stay up here all day watching this. It's really nice. Okay, one more shot. My lips are frozen.
there's a city down below. Birds are making noises. Gotta go all the way back down. I'm not looking forward to it. Driving back down over a sea of clouds. A little bit of sun peeking over the bridge. On the road to Hannah, exploring the sites. It's up today fruit stand and supposedly there's a waterfall back there. Here's the waterfall. Sorry I didn't bring the waterproof case or I'd take you in it. Plus the water looks kind of dirty. I'm waiting for the uh, cleaner pools in the national park. So this is nice to know. Waterfall number two. Some kind of trail here. Not sure where it goes. All the other trails to the waterfalls were pretty much well, pretty gravelly. This is just straight up woods. I think it just meanders through the woods for no apparent reason. Roots. Wait, I hear something. Those trees are interesting. I hear people too. Is this the waterfall is just that? I think it is. I guess you could go either way. End up in the same spot. Oh, this is different. I'm back on a paved trail. Tropical lush vegetation all over the place. I, uh, that waterfall back in the back was pretty nice. If I didn't have all this gear with me, I would have jumped in the water. The road to Hannah on Maui. Kind of like the road on the uh, east side of the island. Now we're on the, wait, no. Still on the east side. Just south. I'm always just traipsing through the brush. Uh, ancient lava flow here on Maui. I think the last time Haleakala erupted was in the 1400s, I think. Although, this is a pretty nice view, right? This awaits you at the end of your hike. So we're in San Jose, like, Big waves. Trade wind waves. Nice little beach down there, too. I feel like I'm in some sort of prehistoric jungle. Like Jurassic Park-esque. Da 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 da
Sounds stuck in my head. I feel like I'm always walking amongst lava. It's like it's everywhere. I can't get rid of this stuff. It just pours out of the earth or something. Well, there is more greenery here than there was on Hawaii. Find myself here on a lone beach. It's a pebble beach, no sand. Why don't you listen to the pebbles with the waves? Here's the sound from the other side. Comes the wave. Apparently I'm heading down to some caves here. It's in the deep underbrush. They're used by the king and queen of this area. Or I could be making the whole thing up, I don't know. I didn't read the whole sign. This is an interesting location. Heading down, deep down. Assuming the water was up higher. That's why these caves are here. Well, I was gonna come down into the cave, but apparently someone left the tap running and now the, the the cave is flooded. Maybe I can get down lower without slipping into the water. So I think I'm gonna go play in the water, but I gotta put you guys in the waterproof case.